What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today is the day of the first mod for the 1500 Hemi. Yes, Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi first upgrade. What is it gonna be? Well, there's a lot of things people could do. People lower their trucks, they lift their trucks, they level their trucks. I'm gonna kinda go in between. I'm not necessarily lifting my truck per se, but I'm gonna be leveling it. Leveling it two and a half inches in the front and putting bigger same size wheel, but much bigger tires. Now, as you can see, I have my Toyo Open Country All-Terrain 2s. Picked these up at America's Tire here off Highway 79. They were able to price match the best price I could find online. So that was pretty freaking awesome. Um, but outside of that, uh, it's time to get them installed on some new wheels. So I did order a set. If you guys are following on Instagram, Lethal Garage on Instagram, a new channel. Uh, you can see the four different options of wheels that I went with or that I was choosing between because the original option I really wanted, well, they didn't make it in the size that my truck accepts. So unless I put big spacers on the truck and I, no, we're not doing that. This truck is a work truck. It's going to be hauling trailers. It's going to be going across country. This is not a show truck. It's not. And if you're wondering why are my tires in a black truck? Well, that's because my actual Dodge truck is at Dodge DCH Dodge getting all the do bill stuff done. So there's some seat coating, a couple door dings that they uh, are taking out and all that kind of stuff. So that's all happening. But in this time, I'm headed down to America's Tire. We're gonna get these mounted on the new wheels and uh, bring them back and hopefully get them on the truck as soon as the truck gets back. So let's go down to America's Tire, get them mounted and we'll go from there. Okay, we're at America's Tire. Got all the brand new wheels. Well, there's two here. I don't know. Oh, the other two are they're hiding they're over there. Let's open it up. Let's see what these bad boys look like. Get it going. On Instagram, you guys were guessing option one, two, three, or four. Hey, look at they even. Oh, pretty. It was option number three. I didn't want to go straight black. I wanted to go something that broke it up. Obviously the truck's got some silver accents on it and uh, maybe, well, actually no, it won't be because the lug nuts are covered. Yes sir. So yeah, let's see them on the tires and on the truck. Let's do it. So there's always one small thing I seem to always forget when I get wheels and tires. Because I'm keeping my stock wheels and tires the way they are and I'm not taking the sensors out of them, I completely forgot that I needed to buy a whole new four pack of freaking wheel sensors. Now, you can go online, find cheap generic ones for super cheap. You can buy some through the dealership if you have a friends and family code or something like that. Getting pretty expensive. I ended up just buying the ones they sell here, which are a little more expensive, but they do come with a warranty and all that stuff. So if there's ever any problems, they'll take care of it. But um, yeah, it's like my typical luck. So I guess because of the size of the wheels and the way the wheels are set up, the TPMS sensors have to be banded on the inside of the wheels uh, just because there's not enough space. And if you try to fill the tire with air, it's just, I guess it's going to mess it all up. I, I don't know the whole explanation of it, but they only had three bands and one of the bands was damaged out of the box. So they were only able to do two wheels today. <sighs> it's like, it's, really? Wait. I get it doesn't matter I mean it just they just I at the end of the day they just didn't have what they needed to get my wheels done which is okay so tomorrow morning uh, they have a guy swinging by to get a whole bunch of bands they're gonna do the other two I'm gonna pick up the other two wheels and tires they look good but the other one the other two are in the back of the truck so I'm gonna take those home and I got the lug nuts and all the other stuff so they look pretty good I thought they were gonna be smaller for some reason like 17 inch wheels in my mind just I thought were a lot smaller but they actually look pretty good with the meat of the tires on there as well so next thing is making sure they actually fit so I'm pretty sure they will but we're about to find out oh man leave the garage let's do it Okay, I got my Adams tire shine and my Blurric. I just finished polishing these bad boys up. Nice and shiny. Looking good. Oh, I can't wait to get these on the truck. They're gonna look so nice. Okay, so we're putting a lift kit on. As you guys, hi Mike. As you guys know, uh, 
tires and wheels were put on. Now, one thing I do want to highlight, when I went back down in the morning to pick up the other two wheels from America's Tire, when they mounted the wheel, they actually scratched one. And like I told you guys, they ordered me a new wheel because it was their fault and they are getting me a new wheel. That's why I love America's Tire. Thank you, America's Tire. Now, we're getting this on the truck. We'll get a better picture, but we do have the rears on. Oh, it looks so much better already. Uh, it doesn't have the cover, hub cover on it yet, but it's looking pretty good. We can put those on next and then we'll get a full view of the truck here shortly. Oh, it already looks so much better. I, I love my truck a thousand times more now. Yes. I am really happy with this wheel and tire combo. It totally changed the look of the truck. Enough talking, let's just, let's just look at it. Oh, it looks so much better. It is not old man truck anymore. It is Temecula off-road truck now. <laughs> it sits so much better, even in the front. Like it just, I know it's only two and a half inches, but man, that two and a half inches makes a difference. These are the fuel off-road D556s, I believe. I could be totally messing up that number. I'll put the info in the description below. And these are the Toyo Open Country uh, All-Terrain 2s. They're a 305 70 17. And it looks really good. Now, it does rub on the plastic fender a hair. Just a hair. I, I don't even see marks where it was rubbing, but it will rub a little bit, so do know but it only rubs on a really, really hard turn. But outside of that, I'm really happy with the way it looks. I'm happy with the way the offset looks. You can see, whoa, gimbal does not like me. See, the tires do stick out a little bit, but hey, what's a truck without a little bit of tire showing? I think it looks really good. But there you have it, new wheels and tires on the truck. I think it made a massive difference in the way this truck looked. It went from old man truck to Okay, now we're talking. Now I think maybe down the road, a lift kit, like a, a 2.4, I don't even know. We'll, we'll see what will work. Um, I think it would be cool if the truck sat a little bit higher. I'd probably have to get an elevator for my wife to get into the truck. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, these tires ride really smooth. We drove it around, you can't even hear them. The truck feels stock. It feels like it rides stock, it's awesome. So there you have it. Uh, new wheels, tires on the lethal truck. More mods and stuff coming. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in following the journey of either the Camaro or the truck and uh, lots more content coming. Uh, likes, comments, shares appreciated. But until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road.